who tries to steal oh, yeah, <laughs> art from the gallery. Please, one please big job. Bowling balls. You just knocked someone out. We're transporting fucking weed. Please, for the love of God. Who did that? I think most of them are on the radio. I'm gonna fucking radio. die. Guys, what please I stop do? fucking around with the bowling balls. Go somewhere else and do it. Didn't do anything. You need some help. Oh. And the uh, sounds like EMS are coming. Oh my god. Fuck's sake, guys. We need to stop fucking around when we're doing this. Fucking dumbasses, dude. Yeah, I hope you don't get mad at me when the day I actually snap and tell everyone to fuck off when we're doing stuff like this. <laughs> nope. <laughs> this shit's dumb as fuck. <laughs> Gumbus is gonna get fucking shot. He's fucking throwing bowling balls like a dumb fuck. Fuck, now the cops are here. Fuck. Cops. Here, I'll, I'll take him. There's a fucking cops just cop. Right I'll just back here. up. I like a fucking packaging. Yeah, they're probably coming to check out why people keep on down. Howdy, people, how are we going? Doing good. Is this an open trunk? If he goes in that trunk, I'm shooting him. He just did, he just did. Oh my god, dude. HOA, dude. You fucking idiot. Dude, they're so stupid. What the fuck, man? Dude. Right. So what we're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to put that van in the ocean and all the products done. Louise, get in the driver's seat. Go. Carol? I'm gonna get in the banshee. Okay, you get in the banshee? Louise, leave. Louise, leave now. Yeah, you already went in the It's going in the water. It's, it's going in the water, okay? It's going yeah, yeah. in the water. Should I dump, they dump it right here? No, take it at the end of the pier. Yeah, yes. they have the whole fucking police force on me. Yeah, I have an OC. They're gonna kill me, man. Uh, they're gonna kill me. I'm going and put it in the water. Well, somebody's fucking dying off of uh, that, dude. We're gonna have to fucking clear our shit out, dude. Oh my god, if fucking it, dude. Oh my god, if we fucking lose everything off of that, Compass is gonna be so fucking dead. Whoever fucking like threw the fucking bowling balls and did that shit. Oh my fucking god. Good luck, boys. They start moving shit. Yeah, empty the sovereign. Damn. If that's on you, you're fucking dead. There's no way that I'm gonna be able to fucking like move everything in time, like if anything happens, man. I said that shit before, man. I fucking said it. I said that shit before. Sometimes they fucking cops show up to the fucking EMS calls. They don't fucking listen, man. You need to fucking do this. Hey, sis. I need you to help me move everything out of the tavern. Okay. Me and Gilly are right here. All right, I'm bringing the truck back and forth. All right, see it. Look, whoever threw that Hello? fucking bowling ball, they fucked us hard. We have way too much shit in here. Is this, do you want me to grab the, like, button stuff everything, as well? Everything, everything, yes. Everything? everything? everything. Okay. The fact is, like, the, it, this should not have been fucking happening. Like, it simply should not have been happening. I mean, we don't know, we don't know if they're raiding. We, like, we don't know if they have enough to raid it, but I'm not gonna fucking risk it. Yeah. Yo, fire Luis. I'm pretty sure he's caught. Powering from the tavern. I'm trying to get Daryl out now. All right. I don't know. Daryl might get fucked too, but I'm trying to get him out. All right, we'll do. All right, I'm still moving everything. Yeah, yeah. Oh no. Sorry, Luis. Julia, we got everything. Uh, yes, we got everything that was in there. Are you sure? Absolutely positive. I mean, I don't know if anybody checked the uh, front one, but everything from the back is gone. If they raid us and they and we lose our shine for this and, and this shit goes down it, terribly, uh, I'm telling you right now, Gumbus is dead. I'm already debating it in my head. I cannot fucking believe that, man. Did the others get away or? Nope. Sounds like they didn't. So I had to fire Luis. <sighs> Well, this is the only thing I can think of, but... <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work, but it's, it's got to be done. What the fuck? Look, if they fucking come in here, then I'm going to fucking make sure that they think it's just a storage closet. I just need another one to put on top. Otherwise, <laughs> I, can't, I can't even get back in there now. Says I'm telling you, they're going to come back here with a warrant. I believe it. I believe it. And if they do, Gumbus is dead. He's dead anyway, sis. I told him to stop fucking around like six times. I don't know. Man, I, I do not know. I literally told him if you've got nothing to do, fuck off. This fucking shit is like stuck here, so I can't even like put this shit. Oh my. <gasps>
Oh, that'll work. I just fucking like deleted everything. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm putting it. Everything is in a box. Yo, OG, I might just go back to bed. I don't. I, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I just had a fucking anxiety attack from what Miguel just told me. I, I'm ah! not going to bed, bro. <laughs> Do you need me? I mean, we might have to kill Gumbus. Mm, yeah, but it was wait. either Gumbus or Raphael, but. I don't no, it think sounds it's like everyone ball. fucked it, it, up. Like, yeah, everyone that was fucking up, around yeah, with a bowling ball. Yeah. It sounds like, honestly, we should just have fucking firing squads right now. <laughs> what, 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 you guys are smarter than that. Why are you guys fucking around when... when Where the teams... fuck was your guys' lookout? That's my question. I wasn't even here. I mean, hey. I'm not talking to you, Julio. I came outside and told you guys to fuck off if you got nothing better to do. Everyone stood outside while we're moving weeds. And continue to throw fucking bowling balls there's there's no excuse for that there's no excuse for that i literally told you guys what we were doing as well everyone just stood there i might have saved the i don't know if i saved this or not come look and see if you think that this will be you know a problem <laughs> i mean the issue is bro is like it's if they walk in and they see the thing at the back they're just immediately gonna like Oh, we have some kegs back there. That's, yeah, it's, I mean, it, that's, for a bar, why wouldn't we? I could just throw some random junk in here, like, up some fucking yeah. waters and shit. <laughs> Let's do it, man. Let's just put some ingredients from the bar in there, I guess. Um, yeah, like some and fruit and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. I don't know, I don't know how they're trying to defend and be like, well, where was the lookout and shit like that? It's like, no, dude, like, you just, it, you knew what was happening. They said it was happening. We were moving a bunch of weed. Do not try to fucking excuse it. Like, you were told multiple times, stop fucking around. Like, we've only been trying to fucking build up this weed for I don't know how fucking long, and now we just lost it all. It's just, dude, like... You're telling me. We just mm -hmm. lost, like, over 30 Gs, probably 40 Gs. You know, this crate right here was fucking 6K that mm -hmm. I just had to fucking do. I broke one down because I fucked it up. Like, 12K right there. We just lost, like, over 50 right. Gs for some stupidity. So we go grab some jerry cans, we bring the tavern down. <laughs> we collect the insurance and then we build the liquid library across the street. <laughs> I'm sure I'm check the things will be peachy, okay? And everything will work out for the best. No, we are absolutely I'm gonna have to kill yeah, Gumbus. We're, <laughs> we're, you wanna go kill Gumbus? What you, we might have to. I are you kidding me? If Lu Luis is gonna go away for the nines, probably. Daryl mm. might also go in for the nines because of him. Our tavern might get raided because of him. We you just lost over him. almost $50,000 because of him. All because he didn't stop fucking Yo. about. Uh, What's up? Nothing, just hanging out, waiting for an, our inevitable demise. Okay, we're gonna go try to figure out how to rob the yacht. You think now is the best time to go and try to rob the yacht? <laughs> it's probably gonna take like five minutes, to be honest with you. I mean, listen. I'm I'm down to fucking help with anything. Look, you guys do but... you. I'm I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go somewhere where I can sit in hey, silence. Hey, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> All right, we we won't have to do that. We're just waiting around. We're we're seeing what's gonna happen. I'm gonna do some yoga and wusa. I think we all kind of need that. Just right? let the man wusa. Just let the man wusa. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen this once before. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, OG. OG, you good? You want to bring? You want me to bring you some yogurt or something? I was just I was just told after uh, potentially having everything taken that they were gonna go rob the yacht. I swear to God, says I'm I'm gonna fucking mold if there's no consequences from <laughs> this dumb shit. <laughs> go and fucking rob the yacht. Are these guys fucking stupid? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was Freddy during all this anyway? Probably fucking fingering his asshole outside his house, man. <laughs> OG, OG, hold on. I got you. Uh, I got you something that might help a little bit. What is it? A little snack. I'll make you a little bit of comfort food. Oh, I need that actually. <laughs> you guys still over there? I was sad. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, listen, we're gonna come. We're, we're gonna fucking talk about what the fuck just happened. Nobody's robbing a goddamn okay. yacht right now. Yeah, we yeah, just uh, we were just bringing that up. Please come and give me the lowdown. I have no <laughs> idea what fucking happened. Uh, okay. See. I I didn't even I didn't even <laughs> see <laughs> all of this. I didn't even see everything, so I don't even know exactly how the fuck all of this transpired. All I know is that bowling balls were continuing to be thrown after we were said to stop. What the fuck happened? This is a over fifty thousand dollar fuck up, by the way. And uh, Daryl leave. and Luis potentially getting the nines, and yes, our place of business potentially being raided. What well, the I fuck happened? Okay. Yeah, who was um, throwing bowling so balls? I'll go first. I didn't even know about bowling <laughs> balls until I woke up. Um, what Sorry. I saw uh, was Gumbus and Raphael throwing bowling balls. Yes. Um, Luis was told to go and be lookout. And then apparently, I don't know what all transpired there, so I'm not going to put words anywhere else. <laughs> um, again, um, Louise was helping moving the packages. Raphael got fucked up because he was making fucked up jokes. So I kicked him. I think Kian hit him with chain dusters. He was knocked out in front of the tavern. I called 911 and I asked for just EMS because Raphael's a fucking idiot. Uh, EMS were there for like a good oh, five, no. ten minutes. Kind of just talking with Raphael before they took him to the hospital. Um, and then that's when I noticed Croc roll up behind. Uh, well, I didn't even see him roll up. I just turned around and then there was a police car. And Luis was standing by the truck with a package in his hand. And me and Kian ran uh, He was driving the car and by drove away. and then he stopped and saw Luis with the box and then reversed. Wait, yeah. So, th th this is, so wait, so okay. Back this up. This was not Gumbus then. It kind of no, it was, it wasn't. It was you. He literally came 10 minutes after it. It that wasn't, ain't, no, he you do. They don't get pinged for that. You know yes, how many they people do. Go to yes, they do. They do yes, actually, they yeah. do. Whether or not a cop decides that they want to show up with EMS, that's up to them. However, every single time an EMS can show up, a cop can show up right alongside them. It, sometimes it happens. Sometimes it does not. However, they do know. Go. If that's what happened, then yes, it's on me. If that's what uh, got them there. <laughs> The Single thing is, I mean, everybody was on the radio, so everybody knew what was going down. We were down there packing. We were bringing the product back. We were going to do the runs. The other people were going to go and get I was on a get... separate one because of houses, so that yeah, was also... Yeah, you said that. No you said that, but... I literally came outside the tavern and told everybody what was going on. I yeah, everything was communicated. Around. Everything was yeah, communicated. Yeah, that was after Raf was on the ground already. You literally watched a... us walk in with 20 bags. We brought 20 bags in there. We moved 22 boxes of weed into the you also you were on the radio when we were doing that you told us that you were changing radio but you knew what we were yeah. doing all right yeah that's on me uh what can i do to fix it i mean we're gonna have to see what happens as a result now i guess but we need to stop fucking around in front of the tavern okay. to that degree the fucking the shit that you know obviously it's gonna be need to, needing to be reimbursed because that was literally all of windsong's product that now we cannot provide we have to pay out of pocket to pay her we had yeah, to dump it for all, it. which Luis might have just been caught with, so he might be going in for no, the night. No, Luis is a hundred percent being okay. Luis is a hundred percent fucked. You fucked yeah, Luis. him and they're all yeah, like, he's literally regardless of how the they pin it, I had they, to they fire can get him. accomplice to trafficking. And that, that's their I tried to get down the there and they they teased me off my bike and Holy tried to cuff both of us. Oh and God. then I broke the cuffs, but he didn't, and then I got away. Whether so they extend that, I mean, whether they extend that to the tavern and they try to like raid the tavern based on it being right out front of it i don't know i don't know what all was seen but I, I was raided based it... on word of mouth uh, like I, it, it it has yeah, happened. i've been raided for less it, it can very well and happen. it's uh croc that was uh you know seeing it right mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. yeah mention, yeah yeah he's a hot ass not to mention we also got violent with him by holding him up as well so it gives him extra oh well great so. yeah there you go yeah croc got like a big bow he's gonna be shoving it right in everyone's face Yep. It could be very bad. Very bad. I mean, I don't know if, if that Croc box is going to cover up our yeah. shine station, but uh, if they go back there and they see shine, that's gone. Like, we're fucked. I mean, look, we'll figure that out. It's it's probably 30 Gs for the run. I fucking wasted two crates fucking trying to put that shit, like, cover that shit back there. That was, like, 6K each. I, I don't know. I don't even know what these guys' fines are, like, when they go get in, when they get sent in. We have no idea, but... It's, if it's drug trafficking, it's, like, 50K. 
So this, if Daryl and Luis both go in for the nines, potentially over 150K. That could have went down the drain based on just fucking around with a bowling ball. Like, please, that that, that is something so small and dumb to fucking have this shit happen over. Like, we cannot do that. I don't know if, if there could ever be a better wake-up call than this right now. As many fucking times as brain rot has infected everybody, this is literally fucking front and center could fuck us royally. If they go to the tavern and then they start fucking connecting Blandon and then they connect Blandon to our warehouse and our warehouse still gets fucked anyway, we're done. Everything is gone. Luis took one for the fucking team today. I hope everybody realizes that. Luis yeah. died for his He's gonna take yeah. a lot more than he one. Did. He's gonna be in there for, he's gonna be in jail for a long ass time. If he's held till trial, then yeah, he's gonna be in there for he a while. He might be in there for like Raphael levels. He might be in there, we might Fucking see him like month. three or four months. Does anybody have right. any incriminating text with Luis? No. Yes. Oh shit. This dumb Maybe motherfucker oh, always texted me stupid shit. If you oh, do, clean read your high side just in case. He didn't send me anything. Okay, I talked to him just waiting on my amigo to come around to grab the dongle off of him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, let me see. Hey, I'm starting up a fake ID business. Are you oh, in no, 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 no. <laughs> oh. Perfect. Uh, what a dumbass. Right, I'm going. I'm going to the show. Good luck with this. Let me know. Oh, you. Oh, yeah, you Fuck this. my dick, bro. I'm the road captain. You got to respect me, okay? So you better run away with all my respect. <laughs> Fucking pussy. <laughs> Ow, oh, my shit. Oh. Ow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you see this clip? What is this? I can only imagine what this is. Well. Let me predict here that he probably says how like people on the server have like a multitude of investigations on them and then the HOA shoots themselves in the foot and this is what makes the entire thing crumble. They used to do that as oh, well. this is nine hours ago actually. <laughs> I mean, they definitely keep things interesting. I never know what to expect with those guys. So oh, no. I'll give that to them, but more so towards the, uh, since the conversation started with the HOA versus pink gang thing. Yeah, I think they're I think they're enjoying it. It's giving them something to do. Uh, if they weren't shooting at a gang at the moment, they probably would just be standing around the uh, tavern uh, trying to figure out how to uh, power game the devs to making something that's not shit at the at their crafting bench. <laughs> and for the most part, trying True. to uh, figure out uh, how how to damage control something that somebody in the gang did that day specifically. And most of the time, it's probably something that Julio did that Sis wakes up to and is like, Julio, what the fuck? And uh, that's that's how the story picks off from there. At least that's been my experience from uh, hanging out with them, essentially. That's a hundred percent correct. <laughs> as, you could take that statement and apply it to this very situation right now. <laughs> oh, it is just our luck as soon as we get into it and start like doing this shit. Like this is what we get caught for, right? Like we've gone all this time without anything in terms of the meth stuff or any like, you know, we've had literally no no residuals when it came to like meth or anything and we've started expanding that yeah like nine months no problemo but like suddenly like weed for three days suddenly it all just goes fucking belly up dude hello hey oh my god luis they finally sent you in how much did they give you uh, i'm in for the night you're serious Nope. No, so, what did you get? Um, so take these, right? I uh, pleaded guilty to the nines, literally everything. And then this cop, these uh, Why'd you rocket. plead guilty, Luis? What the fuck? You lawyer, I was lawyer, I was lawyer. There was no lawyers. There was no lawyers. Well, then they put you in for holding. I mean, the, the, whole, the nines is the holding anyways. I, I, you know, Wait, I they gave you 220 to... months. Yeah, yeah. They said, if you plead guilty and let us raid your apartment in your car. You know what they okay, found. what did you what did you have? What did, what did you have? Uh, Browning high power, well, seven IDs in a stop sign. That's it. Yep. So what did you what did you get hit with? I don't know. So you dropped the uh, 
the drug trafficking to like felony possession with intent to distribute or something. Okay, they couldn't they couldn't fucking hit him with drug so trafficking anyway. Thing. Um, I don't know. You would have to check my fucking. My that's not that's not a big thing. I'm I'm gonna come up and talk to you. Yeah, no problem. All right, I'll be there. All right, see you soon. They played him. Oh my god. They dropped the fucking drug trafficking. They can't fucking hit him with drug trafficking because he didn't he, he doesn't have a pattern. He doesn't have a history of it, so they couldn't charge him with that anyway. Yeah, that was a shit show. That's that that's why I didn't That's why I wanted to uh, look out while we did that shit, but I don't know, I guess well, they wanted me to grab that. You took you. one for the team though. Uh I'll give you that. It was actually the thing was, like, everybody that was just dicking around there were told to stop dicking around, and he didn't stop dicking around. And it turned out, Kyan knocked out fucking uh, Raphael, and then Gilia called 911, and I believe, like, that would have brought them there. Yeah, I, um, I literally walked out, and they were, they were all outside. Uh, I walked out, and as I put a package in the trunk, the cop was literally right beside the bike. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I know it wasn't it wasn't anything you really did there. I think uh, you did your best with what you could to try to get out of there. But I'm there just wondering like, what exactly is going to happen to Daryl now if if you didn't if you got 220, uh, like what's going to happen with him and what they're going to try to hit him with or if they're going to try uh, to raid him as well. We're going we're gonna to get everybody squared away. OK, Kai is going to fucking he's going to have to fucking pay out of pocket for all this shit because of what the fuck happened here. We we had a talk afterwards, and uh, if this isn't a wake up call, I don't know what is. But we definitely need to be on the ball. Uh, this shit cannot keep happening. You said they dropped your drug trafficking charge. Yeah. So basically, it was either nines with or a hundred thousand dollar fine. It was whatever I got right now, um, along with me getting raid like raided. Obviously, I took it because literally all I had was a Browning high power and. Uh, Okay. And about seven to ten IDs. I get, I get that that was like in your mind a better deal, but the better deal is always gonna be don't say shit and just lawyer up because what you did now, potentially, is that if they link you to Daryl, then they have reason now to do everything that they did to you to Daryl, when in reality they couldn't hit you with drug trafficking anyway because you don't have a pattern with weed, do you? Um, no, but they literally... Have you ever been busted with weed, ever? No, but they found me, uh, they found me fleeing from them. Doesn't matter, you don't have a history with it. Like, they, they can't, they can't prove that you were trafficking drugs by having a bunch of drugs in there, you know? If, especially if you don't have a history of it. Yeah, I mean, I did tell them I was trying to roll the world's biggest blunt, to be fair. Okay, wonderful, but look, you gotta... Bulletproof! <laughs> lawyer, lawyer, lawyer. If they don't, I, I if they do to. not, if they, if there's no lawyers, they're going to send you in for holding anyway, so it won't fucking matter. And then at least then you'll be able to build your case and you'll fucking, you'll have your day in court, you know? And then in court, they'll easily be able to fucking t tell you that you don't have a history with weed. Maybe you were using it for recreational use. Maybe you were smoking it yourself. They can't prove that you were trying to sell it. It's not like we were actually doing the, the, the run or anything, you know? You have to rely on the cops' inabilities <laughs> and their fuck-ups, pretty much. And, and, and that will save your ass, and it will go a long way. But if you, if you just admit to everything straight out of the gate because they gave you a deal, you're going to think that it's a good deal. But in reality, they didn't have enough to stick it on you anyway in the first place. So that's why you just don't say shit, and you just lawyer up. If they hit yeah. you and they put you in holding... Fuck them. Whatever. They'll put you in holding. Uh, what did they hit you with? Felony amounts um, with something to distribute. I yeah, so now, they, now you have intent to distribute, right? So if now, if you continue to get fucking caught with weed, then they will hit you with drug trafficking. Because they hit you with intent to distribute already. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, I get it. You, 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 didn't, you didn't know, but uh, just for the future, I would just do not ever say anything. Just lawyer up. They put you in for holding? Fuck it. Like, just let them put you in for holding. They don't know any better, so it's, it's hard to, like, be upset about that because it's like you live and you learn kind of deal, but mm. just can't, like, say shit. Just should yeah. not say shit. The issue shit. is he would have he would have been scared of the nines and then he got offered 200 months and then he would have felt really and good about the months. And that looks better. When in reality, yeah. you can just go to court and we don't know what the fuck they got from that situation. We have no mm. idea. 
But if they scrambled and they couldn't get everything and they couldn't get all their ducks in a row, if they couldn't have like a valid story and all that on their end, he would have fucking, he would have been fine. Either way, they're going to fucking, they're probably going to use this as a magnifying glass on us. It's amazing mm -hmm. that we literally have not had any kind of shit our way for like nine months with fucking meth and uh, three days into weed, this happened. Or 24 hours after bowling balls got fucking brought into the city. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be pretty rough for Cayenne as well, but she owned up to it, but he's going to have to fucking... Luis said he had like 20k in charges. He's going to have to pay up. I feel like, yeah. Daryl got 26 months. 26? Why? What kind of deal did he get? I got caught oh, with fucking 12. Why that. would you plead fucking guilty to that? Oh, never. He's, he's peeking. Right, never. Daryl's peeking. Why? He's peeking Why and he's would you do he's getting way too dank. <laughs> what do you mean? You almost fucked me over with fucking dude that shit. Oh, I, called I was trying to take one for the team. Taking one for the team, you almost took me down with you. <laughs> oh, oh, that's not I gonna mean, be... my fault. Uh, this is my fault, you son of a bitch. Look, he did try. He tried to take the bullet. I mean, he doesn't. He, he's not experienced. He's pretty fucking green. Let's be honest. He didn't really know what the fucking do. I already gave him a ginormous spiel. If anything, uh, you know the tag team duo to my left over here is truly will fuck you both. But they owned up to it, so. Croc was trying to do some dumb shit. Like, he came in at the end, tried to offer me a deal that if I, like, he wouldn't, like, hold me for until the trial or some shit if I give him consent to raid the tavern. <laughs> so I gave him, I gave him a counter deal that I'm not going to take his deal. And on top of that, he could suck my cock and he like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, you need me for anything? Uh, no, I think we're all good. We're just gonna, right. you know, lay low for I'm a bit. I'm heading to bed. All right, look, you know, mistakes happen. Don't take it too rough. You didn't know. It's all part of learning. Good thing is that we saved everything and nothing, you know, it could have been much worse. So it's like, you know, both you and Luis, I, I think you'll come out better for it. Yep. All right, take it easy, man. Have a good night. Right. See ya.